So the way this worked out, I have every drop of the orange paint in here that we have left from the original drop. Every, I mean every drop. And what I'm going to try to do is put it on conservatively. Oh, looks like it's covering pretty good. But I want to get three coats on if I can. Alan, I'm trying to save you some money, baby. Don't know if it's going to work. But we'll do our best. Hey, we always do our best. What am I talking about? I feel like I'm on one of these fake reality shows where you say, oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to climb Mount Everest or something? Nah, we're, this really is a, dra a drama, a dramatic thing. Dramatic for Alan. If not, we know where they have more paint. So we'll just have to go buy some. Oh my god, this thing is drooling too. That's what I need. Alan, is it your lucky day? It's like Clint Eastman is here. I think this trim, the shape that we put on here is going to be pretty nice. Alan, it looks like it's your lucky day. That's covered really much better than I thought it would. But actually it is because we're going over white, which again is another great trick changes the color a little, but we've painted everything over white, so. I think it's your lucky day, Alan. I think you better go to church this weekend. Ah, it's just good to see an old Amar racer restored back on, actually, he could ride this on the street. He has one of those, those funny things called a title. Legitimate. And I hope eventually Alan's going to get to ride, do some riding in the park with us. Alan, it is your lucky day. That's going to be fine. I'm going to let that dry about five minutes. I can feel, oh yeah, I got paint there. It's because we're painting over white, number one, that that worked better than I thought it would. So what I'll do right now is give Alan an email that uh, looks like it's his lucky day. Now, because it's turning into a really hot, hot day, I didn't want to leave this out in the sun too long. I just wanted to tack up. No chance there's going to be a run now. I think Alan will really like that trim line, kind of in keeping with the bikes of this era. Now, I won't do anything if, if, we, if Alan were going to the race tomorrow. Usually, it's pretty safe to put the back mask over this. Two hours is probably realistic before you run any risk. But I always, I'm old school, I always like to let it dry overnight. Tomorrow morning I'll set the alarm, get up early, back mask the orange, shoot the blue, and then if everything is just the way we want it, uh, probably that afternoon I'll be able to shoot the clear. So, And I already called Alan to save him the, uh, it's about 40 bucks for a pint of the paint, but anyway. It'll just put $40 more in his racing budget for a set of, another set of racing slicks or, a, or an airbag helmet or something. Who knows? Anyway, Alan, we, we really lucked out today. And look at the day. Look at the day. Oh, we're on our way to get the baby. Where do you want to ride today, Miles? Now, as you can imagine, this is how we get our daily exercise. He's on a bike, we're on foot. Miles, you're leaving us in the dust. You think, you think I was an old man. You don't think I can run anymore, huh? You don't think I can run anymore, huh? You don't think I can run anymore. You don't think I can run. 
You don't think I could run, huh? Forget about it. They have an EMT in case I have a heart attack. Come on, baby, go, go, go. Luciano's winning, go, go, go. Look at that big boy. So after the EMTs revived Grandpa Wendy and gave him some oxygen. Okay, turn around here. Whoa, now turn around, let's see you go. Turn Come around. on, go, all right. Wow, you're very good. All right, go, baby, go. Very good I think he's ready for a small dirt bike. <laughs> I'm not prejudiced. I see he's learning how to do donuts here. Look at that, wow. Time to start learning how to do wheelies. <laughs> so basically while Alan's paint is drying, we're, we're getting put to the test here. Who's got more energy? A five-year-old or a 70-year-old? Let's see. Hmm. Don't bet on a 70-year-old. Not yet. Oh, he's gaining on me again. Oh, oh, I need my Geritol. Ah, oh, he's leaving me in the dust. He must have a bigger engine. He got a newer engine. Here we go down the river path. Oh, the baby never runs out of energy. He's just... He's just wearing the grandparents to a nub in 90 degree weather. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful path that goes all the way around this enormous park okay, in Rutherford. And once you wear the grandparents down, you swing for a while. Come on, baby. Higher. 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 It's like MotoGP, you gotta do the corners. Yeah, Go through the corners, come on. Dad, can you please show me a trick? I'm gonna show you a trick in one minute. Go, I wanna see some MotoGP corners. Come on, Glenn's gonna be able to pass you at will if you don't go any faster, come on. There you go, MotoGP those corners. I wanna see the training wheels worn right to the edge. Hey! Whoa! Now, today's little job is going to be pretty simple. We have to take all the tin foil off, and of course, that's why using tin foil is so nice. Just be a question of not a big deal even taking it off. I think you get the idea. Well, I'm going to leave the number plates covered and just back mask off the orange, and we'll be ready to paint the blue. Now, once we give the blue an hour or so to dry, we'll be able to put a coat of clear on it and get the base coats to clear on here, to hopefully today. And we've got a perfect painting day out there, except the wind is blowing a little bit, so I wanna get moving and get this done for Alan. Now, I always like to give credit, and whenever I do a, a back masking job like this, to our late friend, Walt Prey from California, who actually shared this technology with me when we were doing model planes. And it has served me very well over the years, as well as many of the people that enjoy modeling. But the advantage is pretty obvious right in the beginning. If you were doing this with newspaper or with back masking anything else, it just becomes a lot more work. Now this line here, this is a very, a really simple thing we're gonna do because we have to pull off the blue tape that goes along the edge. And I was thinking, uh, and really, I, don't, I don't really think it's a good idea to do it right now, is I could leave that tape on there and leave a white stripe in between. But I'm wondering if, uh, if Alan, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, you know what, Alan, I'm not even gonna ask you, I'm just gonna leave that white stripe there. I just think that'd be a little cooler, a little nicer. And if the blue butted right up, and it doesn't, because the rest of the bike, I painted the rest of the bike, the frame and everything, doesn't, it's going to match. It's not going to be a problem. And one of the things we wanted to do over the winter, if Alan decides to do it, obviously it's his bike. One of the things we have a choice about doing, by the way, there's another nice thing about thin foil. You can still bake a turkey in it. Just, see, sometimes in the course of doing a job like this, right in the middle of it, you get an idea to say, wow, let's do it that way. Oh, let's, you know, let's see if dolphins really can fly or something. But anyway, 
one little thing from tinfoil that can be a problem. If you put this up here and rub it with your finger, it can leave a little smudge. This smudge comes right off with simple green or 1000 grit sandpaper or whatever. But it is nice in this case. I think I'm going to leave that stripe there. So Alan, when you pick the parts up, if you don't like the stripe, you can say it was my impulsive nature that made it happen. I've done that many times, painting a model plane or a motorcycle. That in the middle of it, I say, yeah, it would look great yellow, or that would look great blue. That's basically the end of that. Now the, the question is, this is the part that's going to be painted. I just have to back mask the parts that are orange now. So now this is a, a couple little tips. I put this on a thousand videos already. We have well over a thousand videos between the model airplanes and the motorcycles out there now, so an awful lot of them give credit to Walt Prey. He was really some really good custom painter. I saw a lot of his custom cars and lettering. He was especially good at gold leaf lettering. Anyway, now what will happen here is really pretty simple. I'm not going to try to bend that around, there's no reason to. The purpose of this is I wanted to show just how nice this material is for doing that. Now, there's another thing, and, and I will show this. This is a good trick. If you take a piece of tin foil like this and wrap it around, and you just run your finger up on here, what will happen is you'll see, let's see if it's my lucky day. You'll see the exact shape that that has to be. So now the back masking, you've already got the hard part done. I always, by the way, with fresh tape, rub it up on my shirt a few times. Just It doesn't need to be really sticky for this. And because this paint is only a day old, I don't want to run into uh, some kind of meltdown right now. Anyway, we'll get the other side done off camera, mix up the blue pipe. I think we already got it in a gun already. Because we didn't run out of blue, we just ran out of orange. In fact, we didn't even have to, but we didn't run out of orange. We just got real close to running out of orange. And make sure that's all back masked in there. And in a matter of 10, 15 minutes, that's, that's going to be ready. The other side will be a, just a mirror image of that, and we'll be ready to paint blue. And maybe even clear today, depending on how quick this is going to dry up. Wait, this is such a nice color blue. It's going to require, because it's a metallic, it'll require three coats. I'll give it three coats in. Now I want to try to get inside at the very end with any paint I have that's extra. Well, we got plenty of paint. I don't know what I'm worried about. Like an old lady thing. First coat, I don't want to run the risk of getting a run in it, so I'm just putting it on very, very light. 
10, 15 minutes to dry, get a second coat on. Way better than trying to slog it on and wind up with a run. All right, first coat, that'll give that about 10, 15 minutes to dry. Now one of the little tricks I do is on the third coat, got the first two coats on there, the third coat, I move this water, there's a good catch. That would have, that could have ruined my whole day. Had the hose wrapped around there. What's well, always a good choice when you have a metallic, the third coat, when you go to put it on, put a little bit of extra thinner in the paint, so it's probably 60 thinner, 40 paint, and that allows those last layer of flakes to sit up just a little bit nicer. And it works on any metallic paint, that's for sure. A little painter's trick from, from the good old days. And one thing I'm sure is when this bike's all put together, Alan, you're gonna be pretty happy. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be a cool little bike. And I hope you beat this guy and it's number one. Hey, right, let's do it. Yeah, it's for the, the glory of old Amar riders. Now this is going to have to dry a while, then we're going to have to pull the back masking. Make sure we don't have any defects in it, and I'm sure unless we need to do some repair, I think we're going to be good to go here. We're going to get some clear on today, what a bonus that is, wow. Alan, it's, since you've been doing this job, Alan, you must be going to church every day. Because you have been very lucky. Not every job goes as, as well as this. I'm just trying to get a hint of paint inside the fairing because I didn't want it to be red. I thought that would be terrible seeing it red inside the fairing. Now we have extra paint here. All right, it's going to dry for about an hour now. Okay, now the time has passed. This should be dry. Let's give us last words. And because it's been sitting out in the sun. The part is actually warm to the touch. I probably won't even have to use a hair dryer or anything to take the... Uh, if this were a wintertime thing, I would be warming up the tape with a hair dryer. Not a heat gun, a hair dryer, just to get it warm. And once I get all the tape off, pretty pretty cut and dry what's going on here. Let's get this piece off. Let's see what this white stripe is going to look like. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, Grandpa Windy, wow. I made a mistake. Whoa. We, see, now most people would have, most people would have taken this off video. Not Grandpa Windy. Look, I forgot to paint a spot blue here, so I'm going to have to go outside. Check this out. This, this is what happens when you work in hot weather. I forgot to paint this little triangle blue. But since it's already back masked, I'll just put some tape on the other side. Shoot that blue, put it back out in the sun. These are the things that happen when you're working under race conditions like Alan. Right, we'll get that done. We'll get it right. Actually, I could leave that white, but not, you know what? Not happening. Now to be honest, this was an honest mistake by the way. I didn't do this on purpose. But I've always thought, and believe I've been shooting video since 1987. So think about that number for a while. 
had the first camera from Ken Budensink in 87, but I always thought the beauty of being able to share things on video, and of course now with YouTube, is you can see to people that everybody that does this makes some mistakes. And if somebody tries to convince you they've, they've had a career of painting and never done something similar to this, they're lying. It's as simple as that. So by showing the mistakes and by showing how this that's how easy it is to correct that mistake. We'll go outside. I'm just going to do this off camera. Get those two little triangles painted blue and let them dry and then we'll move on. I, ne I try never to edit out the mistakes out of the video because that's the part that can benefit people that want to learn how to do these, share these skills that we all have. Okay, so there's another thing. I don't know what I was thinking. It's old age, trust me. But now we have it correct. So that's got to dry. I'll have a cup of iced coffee from the lovely Mrs. Ertnowski. And then finish pulling off the back mask. And we'll be ready. We'll take all the back mask off. We'll be ready to shoot the clear in uh, less than an hour. Now everything dried up nice. We are ready. And we're going to make get some clear on this today. I think that's gonna re that's really in keeping with the uh, the time, the big number plates that were very typical of the Amar racers. It's all legal size. I think it's ready to spray clear. Moment of truth.